welcome to Srikanth Infographic YouTube channel. So today we are dealing with modern periodic table. This periodic table is very important to study because it gives us clear idea about all the elements because elements are the building blocks of our universe. So kindly watch this video completely and give us your compliment or the comment. This modern periodic table is based on atomic increasing number of increasing atomic number and the history begins uh, began with the Doberanus triads, then Newlands octets and Mendeleev's periodic table which is based on atomic mass number but all the anomalies of this previous uh, tries uh, made by human are clarified in this modern periodic table. So please do watch this video clear carefully. It gives us clear idea about the elements, their properties, water periods and then uh, valences also their radius, uh, shells and also groups. So all the elements can be studied with the help of this modern periodic table. So please do watch carefully and give us your compliment, comment and subscribe uh, my channel Srikan Infographic and also press the bell icon so you will get a uh, updated notification. So please do watch. Today we are going to study modern periodic table. To study the periodic table or each element in periodic table we have to study uh, uh, before that the index. What is the information given on this periodic table? So uh, for example aluminium is given in this index. So symbol of aluminium AL is given. Then the name of uh, aluminium is given in block capital letters. So here is a name elements name. Then it is called symbol. So these are symbol. Then uh, in this left side corner there is 13. So 13 is atomic number given in this uh, block. Uh, then in a left corner then 2.70 is the density then atomic radius is given 1.43 melting point 660 60 then boiling point 2467 then uh, element electron structure is given so number of shells 3s2 and 3p1 then uh, atomic weight is given on the right side uh, in uh, comparing to atomic number is smaller in size 26.982 it's the atomic weight, then electronegativity, first ionization energy, then oxidation state and year of discovery. So this modern periodic table gives us a lot of information about an element and uh, what is the what kind of structure aluminium has crystal structure. So when you are going to study this modern periodic table in block of each element all this kind of information is provided. So please do watch it carefully and we will study the this modern periodic table ok let's move on to complete modern periodic table so in 1913 Henry Mosel an English physicist discovered that atomic number is the most fundamental property so the law is the chemical and physical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers so in this periodic table uh, horizontal rows in the modern periodic table are called as these horizontal rows are called as uh, periods so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 periods total in this modern periodic table then also it consists of 18 groups so vertical columns are called as groups so group uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then uh, 13 14 15 16 17 and this last group uh, is called as uh, inert gases group or the noble gases group so that is 18 group elements present in the same period so elements present in the same period have same number of shells which is equal to the period of number so second period so they all these elements have two shells then third row periods are all third period has all uh, shells which has number three sodium, magnesium, aluminum, 2 argon. So they all have 3 shells. Then in each period a new shell starts filling. In each period then the first period is the shortest period. So the first period is of hydrogen and uh, on the right side there is helium. So only 2 elements are there so it is called shortest period. Then period number 2 and 3 are the short periods. Then because they have only 8 elements then 4th, 4th and 5th period are the longest period or the long periods and contains 18 elements. Then 6th period is the longest period because uh, in it there are 32 
elements and also the seven period is called incomplete period because of, because uh, still some elements are there uh, in searching then we will see the groups groups are number from uh, 1 to 18 uh, that is zero group also there and then also roman 1a 2a 3b 4b also they are named like this then elements having same number of valence uh, elements having same number of valence electrons or having same outer electronic configuration are present in the same group so elements present in the same group show same chemical properties okay then group one contains alkali metal so hydrogen is an exception to this so alkali metal is shown in this brown color so group one is alkali metals then uh, this kind of color is of alkaline earth metals shown here alkaline earth metals then group 17 that is called 7a group also so group 17 this yellow is called halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and statine these are the halogens then group 18 is of noble gases or it is also called inert gases they have completely filled outermost out shell helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon so these are the 18 group is of noble gases they don't take part in a chemical reaction then uh, metals are present on the left hand side of the periodic table so all the metals on this uh, left hand side and then right hand side contains normal elements also non metal elements present in group 1 and group 2 group 2 on the left side and 13 to 17 on right side so 13 14 15 16 17 on right side of the periodic table are called normal elements and their one outermost shell is incomplete group 18 are on the extreme side the inert gases then elements placed at the bottom of the periodic table are called uh, transition elements so they contain two series of elements that is uh, lanthanides and actinides 14 elements with atomic number 58 to 71 so 57 is here so 58 to 71 up to this are called uh, lanthanum they are starting with lanthanum so they are called as lact uh, lanth lanthanides and then uh, atoms starting with uh, atomic number 90 that is the thorium after actinium up to 103 so this violet color line is called uh, actinides so lanthanides and actinides also uh, elements uh, on in modern periodic table are classified on the basis of electronic configuration they are divided into four blocks s block p block d block and f block group so these two first two uh, vertical lines that is first two groups are called as s block elements then uh, group 3 to uh, group 12 up to this are called as d block elements and group 13 that, that is 3a 13 to uh, 0 group 0 group this uh, group is called as p block elements and below series that is lanthanide and actinide this series is called f block elements so it's very easy to recognize them also one more uh, very important thing to add so metals are showing here in pink color also and uh, one thing that is separated by metals non metals is a line which is starting from boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium polonium so this gray color line uh, is called as metalloids so because they show characteristic of metals as well as non metals so they are all metalloids so uh, starting from group 3 to 12 these elements are called as uh, transition uh, elements these elements have two outermost shells incomplete they are known as so they are called as transition and all these elements are metals the group that is starting with lanthanide and actinide this series is called inner transition uh, they have three incomplete outermost shells and also they are all elements all these elements are metals so now we'll see the uh, properties uh, some of the properties uh, here uh, all the solids are shown in black color then gases are shown in red color all these gases are shown in red color so these are the gases they are shown in red colors then liquids are shown in blue color those are liquids cesium francium gallium mercury bromine they are shown in uh, blue color then synthetic elements are shown in orange color those elements are made in laboratory those are shown in red colors and also uh, 
uh, this sign is uh, we can see if we go very close so it's called radioactive uh, so uranium we all know that it's a uh, uranium which is using atomic energy so it has a uh, yellow uh, what we called it a circle is shown there so radioactive elements are shown we can see there this is the symbol used for radioactive elements now we will see the some properties of elements so we will see the valency about the valency the valency of an element is determined by the number of valence electron in its outermost shells of an atom we will see some properties valency uh, is the outermost number of electrons in outermost shells all the elements of a group have the same number of valence electrons so if a group 1a all they have one electron in outermost orbit so one valence is there so valency increases from 1 to 4 for the second and third period so second and third period valency increases from 1 to 4 then it decreases from 4 to 0 again it decreases from 4 to 0 so group number so 4 to 0 means the four number of electrons and 0 because 0 is the last inert gases so they don't have a valence electron then atomic about atom is very important part atomic size Atomic size is determined by using atomic radius. Uh, atomic radius is the distance between the center of atom and the outermost shell. In a period, atomic radius generally decreases from uh, in period from left to uh, right. Atomic radius is decreases. It means atomic size decreases left. This is because uh, why this happens? Because electrons are added. There is no increase in the uh, number of shells when we see the periods from left to right but electrons are added in outermost orbit so nucleus exerts a great pull uh, on that orbits so the size shrinks of the atom so atomic radius is automatically decreased from left to right then uh, in group if we see atomic radius increases in group from top to bottom because in each group uh, there is addition of orbits so uh, the size of uh, distance between the nucleus and the outermost orbit is going um, going to be increased every time in every group uh, so in every groups top to bottom so new shells are added each time so the atomic size increases from top to bottom but from left to right atomic size decreases because of the greater pull from the nucleus then metallic and non-metallic properties always metal show tendency to lose electron and uh, they are so electro positive and non-metal show tendency to accept the electrons so they are electro negative metallic character decreases from left to right and in a non-metallic character increases from left to right in the period this is because atomic size decreases therefore the electrons are not easily released then elements on the left of periodic table are all all these are all metals and on the right of periodic table in the group lower number of members are non-metals so these members are non-metals now in a group metallic character increases from uh, metallic character increases and non-metal character decreases from top to bottom this is because atomic size increases and uh, and valence electron can be easily removed so uh, from top to bottom metallic character increases and non-metallic character decreases so this is all about uh, modern periodic table it's very easy to understand so we all have this kind of metals to study and uh, in also 12 science we have third row elements to study and the seventh a halogen group so again I am uh, concluding this modern periodic table uh, with it has uh, 18 groups that is vertical columns and 7 periods so uh, 7 periods they are called uh, no, these 7 periods are uh, horizontal rows so we have uh, in the first a group alkali metals then then within second uh, group we have alkaline earth metals then uh, these are the transition elements because they are outermost two shells are incomplete so these are uh, lanthanide and actinide are inner transition they have three outermost shell incomplete then we have uh, metalloids from boron silicon germanium these are this line is metalloids 
then seven group seven a group is called halogen or halides and these are noble ga gases their outer shell is completely filled and also lanthanum series like uh, lanthanide is called and this is starting with actinium so it is called actinides so we all have this kind of modern product so thank you for watching it will really help you to study chemistry